Today I'm going to walk you through a new audio update available in Adobe Premiere Rush. So stick around. Hey everybody, what's going on? Claudio here and welcome to my channel where I share tips, tools, and tricks to help you share your story. First off, let me apologize for what I'm sounding like, a bit congested. I'm getting over a bug, something I thought I might have had COVID. My results were negative, so it's all good. Just you're going to hear a stuffed up Claudio in this video. But hey, let's get with what you're here to hear about. And that is the new update available in Adobe Premiere Rush. This update is available on iOS as well as on the desktop platform. And new cool feature, they joined with Splice Audio to provide royalty-free audio that you can use in your videos. There are soundtracks, sound effects, and loops, but you know what? Let's stop talking about it and let's take a look at it. So I already have a project here that I worked on before. This was a trip that I took to a park and I thought it would be a great example of how to use some of the sound effects uh, as well as bring in some loops and um, some soundtracks. So let's go ahead first off and let's open up some of these layers here. So let's take a look at the audio layers. And let's see, we, so we got one layer of video and then we got the uh, original audio from the video and I separated it. These are actually the audio from the video that I captured on my uh, Samsung. So I'll go ahead and play a little bit here so you can kind of hear it. The wind that's being caught just on the phone. And I'll kind of jump up here to some other spots where uh, you can hear kind of the river, the wind. I want to stop that there, but what I want to do now is kind of show you the new cool feature here is when you jump over to the audio button here, you can find it here. You see there's audio and you can browse, but you could also use the blue plus button up here in the upper left corner of your screen. If you click on audio there, it opens up the exact same menu. If I were to click on browse, it's just the same one here. So you can access it from both of those locations. And that is the same on your mobile device as well as on the desktop. They're just going to be in a different spot. Um, so here we have the different options. You have soundtracks, you have sound effects, and then you have loops. So this is a great a partnership between Adobe and Splice. Now, there's not a ton of them right now, but a lot more than there were before. And I, I don't, I'll think I would say that there would be a lot more added as the time goes. So for now, this is what we have. So as I look through here, I found a one, a sound effect here. And let me jump over here to sound effect. And um, in this video, the audio is kind of uh, in and out in different spots, the wind, and it's not constant. So in this spot right here, there's a creek and there's about two clips here. And there's some kids playing in the, um, in the area. I kind of didn't want them to be in the video, but I couldn't tell that family, hey, get out of my video. So. Um, I just went with it, but now that I have this here, what I did is scroll down here and there is, let's see if I can remember where it's at. Let's see here, stream and birds. So one of the cool things now too, is you can actually preview the sound before you actually add it to your clip. So check this out. You hit the play. You can hear exactly how it sounds before bringing it in. So what I'll do is I'll click add and it adds it down here to the bottom. Now it's about a 45 minute uh, sound effect. Now you don't have to use the whole 45 seconds. Did I say minute? I meant seconds here. So here we go. Let's kind of shrink this down because I want to add it down here underneath the original kind of stream that I had. And let's trim it some about right there. Maybe. Yeah, well, that should be good. And I'll go ahead and play the original. Let me mute this here. We'll see how the original sounds. Can you hear those kids? That's that's what I wanted to remove, but I I just couldn't get in there and remove it. But now. What I'll do is let me mute that. And in fact, I actually will leave it playing. But what I'll do is I'll come down here to the original track. Let's go back to audio. And 
what I'll do here is I'll just lower that original track down. I'll do the same for this clip. Is also what I noticed is it kind of the volume jumped up between the two clips. So now you should hear the sound effect. And there we go. And the kid that I didn't want to be in that clip because I lowered it. Now the sound effect kind of took over the sound. So really cool way to take advantage of the sound effects in Adobe Rush. So let's kind of jump back out here and let's see about adding kind of a, a soundtrack to this. So let's say I did not want to have any of the natural sound, but we're just going to bring in a soundtrack here. So let's see, we got all these different themes. We've got kind of like a bluesy theme, uh, Neo Soul, dramatic, cinematic, dulcimer. So let's see what that sounds like. That's not, doesn't fit this here. Maybe strings. Nope. So here, you kind of get to go through all the different ones. Actually, that sounds okay. I may actually use that. So let's go ahead and bring that in. I'm going to drag it here underneath the whole track and let's go ahead. We're going to go ahead and close the audio there. I'm going to trim it here at the very end. Let's go ahead and cut that last piece out. And something that I like doing with the uh, soundtrack or anytime I bring in audio into Premiere Rush is I like to kind of fade in and fade out. So what I do with that is I go to effects and I go to transitions and you can kind of click on dissolve and it will give a fade kind of dissolve to the audio. So when it kind of fades out towards the end, you can kind of hear the volume going down. So see if we can kind of see that or hear that. You're gonna tell by, there's a tiny, tiny black, or I should say gray little box there. If I click on it, you see that is actually the dissolve. So if I were to play this, and it kind of fades out there and you can extend that you can make it longer or shorter so let's see now i'm actually going to leave the original track here and then we're going to use that there i added the stream and birds now there is another sound effect that i actually want to go grab and uh there are actual cicadas in this area where i was hiking now cicada is some sort of type of bug that's all i know what they are i didn't know about them until i moved here to texas so let's see i do remember seeing a cicada here take a while for me to find it here we go cicada so i'm going to click on add here and maybe let's see if i can tell it where to go bring it there click add there we go let's see what it sounds like right there maybe it might be too loud <laughs> So the cicada, that cicada sounds just maybe just a little too loud. So what I'll do is I'll just lower that a bit. And get that little. Okay, so now that original cicada sound was from my uh, original one. So I'm going to go ahead and actually delete that there. So let's see. There we go. Yeah, it's so much nicer. Now that's that was our footstep, so I'm going to trim it right there. So as you can see, you can get really creative on how you can add these sound effects. Now, because the soundtrack is a little bit too loud, I want to lower it because I do still want to hear the nature sounds around in this video. So what I'm going to do is use a feature available in the audio tools, which is Auto Duck. Now, what Auto Duck does is adjust the volume of the sound or whatever track you have, whatever track you choose against uh, audio or against voice, I should say. It recognizes a track that has voice kind of attached to it. So for example, if you see here, uh, all of my tracks right now, there's a tiny icon of a of a little kind of a, a head there. Um, even though it's an actual sound of the environment, kind of ambient sound, I can still change the type of sound. So all of these right now, I've already switched to um, audio track or an audio type 
Now down here, if you can see here where it says Cicada Symphony, it's still music, but it's, it's, uh, if you see right here where it empties out, I want to make sure and up here where it says change type, I'm going to say music, even though it's sound by changing the type, it doesn't actually change the sound. It's just kind of identifying it. So now when I click on the classical sunrise soundtrack and I go to auto duck, it automatically adjusts the whole track so that you can still hear the music and hear kind of the nature. So here we go. You can hear it kind of faintly there in the background. Just incrementally make those changes. And if you want to hear a lot more, then I only want to reduce it by that much. And there is the new audio update available now in Adobe Premiere Rush. So if you have not updated your mobile device app or your desktop app, go do it now so you can take advantage of those new sound effects loops and soundtracks let me know what you thought about this video if you have any comments or questions please do leave it in the comment section below don't forget to hit that like button subscribe to the channel and then click on that little bell to be notified for future videos and thank you once more for stopping by until next time be good to one another peace i'm out